Likutei Maran, Amtsaus Adama, the middle of the world, Torah Chaf Dalid. All right. So we said that there's a light. The, the light, the light of this. There is a light which is above Nefesh Ruach Neshama, which is Or Ensof, the light of infinity, which can be attained only Bifkinas Mate Velomate. You get it and you don't get it. You reach it and you don't reach it. It's like a. You oscillate into, in and out of it. And he so said, it's not possible, and he it says, it's not possible to attain this, to get to this level where you are getting this supernal light, even Prinas Mate Velamati, unless you do the mitzvahs besimcha. Because the simcha is the shleimus of the kedusha. The atzvus, the sadness, the the depression, is the realm of the of the kelipot. That is also the reason why human beings have a natural tendency towards depression, to be sad. We find reasons to be sad. I mean, we desperately look for entertainment, you know, to get us out of it. <clears throat> but the nature of 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 humans is. And the Rebbe says a person has to force himself to be besimcha. He says it's, it's, it's a hard work. He says you have to force yourself to be besimcha. He says because the reason when, when you are besimcha, the Rebbe says you can lead your brain the way you want to. How do you get besimcha? Oh, so the Rebbe says that the first, the first tool of getting to simcha is milsa deshtuso, nonsense. <clears throat> He says, he says, my say, you know, some kind of nonsense, some kind of an inane joke, whatever it is, put a tape on, whatever it is, anything, as long obviously that it's not, you know, obscene or whatever, or whatever, is, it's fine, it works. He says, not only this, he says, it's not possible these days to get to, to get to Simcha without the Milsa de Stusa. Without, the, it's not possible. He says, it is not Possible to get the Mitzvah the Shtusa these days without, and then you can see it. The Mitzvah and the Gemara, Rabbi Kiva used to start his shurim with a joke. Rabbi Kiva used to start it with a joke, then everyone became besimcha, and, 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 and once you're besimcha, you know, you get expanded consciousness, you can lead your mind any which way what do you, think you want. The, what do you think of the principle which I'm always uh, espousing for tens of years, I'm saying this, and it seems to me to be truth? And I can give you as well total support for it. And it's a, really my experience: the depression, the sadness that people have, the negative things they have, it has one source. And the one source is they're experiencing the gap between their expectations and the fulfillment. For sure. Of for sure. For sure. For sure. And, and so the, the challenge, and this is something that I wrote about is how do you maintain dreams, hopes, and desires and not creating expectations? Okay, that if you can do that, you, you, and so as you know very well, because you know something about the Eastern world, that, that the concept is you get to a place where you just, it is, you know, it just, it is, it is. And it's not, and it's not something that it feels like an active simcha. But like what I carry in my life, Prof Hashem, is this feeling of... Serenity. Of, of serenity. serenity. Yeah, it, it's really... It's uh, this is it's the, 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 the second tool. Second, first of all, we're talking about like an injection. Take an injection of Mirsul de Stusa. Pasha. No, Listen. In, the mor- in the morning when I get up, there's a particular song that I put on there you go. every morning. I get up, I put the song on, I dance to it. it, it gives that's me, it. It gives that's, me a good feeling. So that's point number one. Point number two, point number two is when you come to the Kaddish Baruch Hu and you start thanking Him, not only for the good stuff, obviously, but for everything. 
You're going to find out that for in, everything in this week's newsletter where I write about gravity. All these things they found out about gravity. So when I started my path in the first years of becoming Chazer Ben Shiva, where I was like sensitized to everything, right? You know, right? And so I would walk down the street. How was it hit me? What a rough of gravity! What a rough of gravity! Yes, but that's the show we'll learn on. We'll learn on. You'll see that gravity is the sort of pashut, is sort of offer, and that's the tzaddik. We'll talk about it. That's the, it's the, it's the, it's on the only, the only uh, subatomic power yeah. that is accumulative. Any other of the four atomic powers, it's strong for what it is, but it doesn't accumulate except gravity. We'll talk about it. It's an interesting. Uh, the Yes, this is Yisod the Tzadik. This is the, the Pashto. This is the Tzadik. Okay, so we'll get back to the the, the is doing the mitzvah of the Simcha, and we say that getting mitzvah of the Simcha is the the union of the Ketores of the incense, and this is how uh, 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 you you mal or the chais from the Klippas, you complete the mitzvah of the and we say this is this corresponds to what Arizal says, the Malchus comes out of its dwelling amongst the Kelipot, the Machos de Asiya, and goes up. Okay. Now, and then we said to see if Gimel, when a person actually does the mitzvah b'simcho, that mitzvah that he did has the koyach to awaken all the olamas to Averis Hashem. And this corresponds to the next step of the ascension of the Malchus. And this is when the Malchus of Olim Asiya, you know, uh, is Malbish, and it cloaks, it, 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 it fits on the three bottom, the three sefirot, which is above it, which is Nesach, Hod, and Yesod. Of Olim Asiya. The Nesach, Hod, Yesod are the, the, in, in, in the, the muscle that is given from the physicality of a man, because the man was, was created, you know, as, 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 you know, every single organ alludes to a specific spiritual reality. So the Netzachod Yesod are the walking uh, uh, limbs, the ornament, the, 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 the tools that people walk with. So Netzach Vehod, this is the two legs, because the Netzach is the right leg, the whole the hod is the left leg, and the yesod is the ois briskodesh, and now uh, in every single sphere, every single sphere has the keli and the content, has the 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 inside light and the outside light. Now, the 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 outside, the content. The light is always the content. Now, the light that is inside the keli is called or pnimi. It's called the inner light. That light, which is shayach to the light in the keli, but does not have, there's no room for it because that, 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 that capacity is not enough. It surrounds the keli. It's called or chitsoini. It's called the external light. It still belongs to this madrega. Every madrega has a keli. It's like some of the light is inside, some of the light is outside. It's like, for instance, you have a certain knowledge about specific things, okay? But it's not a complete, you don't know everything there is to know about it, okay? So you have enough, you have enough of a keli to contain some understanding of this thing. Okay, and there are certain things about it that you know, you know, little bits and pieces about it. You know, some principle about it. You know, you have shaykhs to the, but you, you don't have it. Okay, so that which you know, you know, good and well is called orapnimi. That's the inner light. It's <coughs> in your mental. It's in your faculties. You you contain it, and that which about the stuff which you don't know yet, we, you know a little bit about it, you have some notions about it. that is called the Ora that's the Ora Makif of that particular Madrego. Okay? When you're doing the mitzvahs... I think we have in the fridge. 
Okay, okay so there is, no, there is. It, okay, okay, I'm, I'm taking some hot water. Just, just water. Hot water. Okay. Now, it is through doing the Mrs. Basimcha that enables the Malchus to ascend from the Kilipot. <laughs> now, what happens is that the inner, the inner light of the Sphere of Malchus goes. It goes up, and it surrounds the outer light of Netzach or the Yisod, which is above it. This is what the Yitzchayim says. Now, when the Malchus is wearing, so to speak, is 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 is, is becomes the exoskeleton, so to speak, of the Netzach or the Yisod, it has the koyach of walking. Now it is it is it is like like it. it, it it, it's, it's wearing the, the Netzach of Yisod, even though it is makif to them. Now it has koch to go to all of us. This is what it says, Torah selokav bilboliboy. The Torah, well, this, this is Seif Gimel. This is Torah selokav bikirboy. The Torah of his Lord, of his God, is in his heart. Lo simod ashurov. He will not slip. He will not skid. He will not slip down. What it means to say that the key, the key of the mitzvahs, which are written in Teres Hashem, it brings about the strengthening and the fortification and the empowerment of the reglaim, the ability to walk. The Now there was the Malchus, which is the Kedusha that is, uh, is Melubash in doing the, in the mitzvahs. This Surrounds and 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 cloaks the snezachod yisod, which are line, and that gives it the ability to go and awake all the sefirot and all the oilimus to avoid the sashem. Here's the question, please. About this this thought from Nachman is this is original to him, or he has a source for it, or it's coming from divine inspiration. Where is he getting this from? If I could tell you, if I could tell you, the Asoga itself, as, as the Bezat Hashem, you know, if we'll, we'll be zeichet to learn together for a long time, you will learn, you will discern on your own that the inner message, the inner Hasoga that, that Rabbi Nachman is getting is something which is completely and totally no. I mean, that's just, it's just a completely and totally no. It's not just an understanding. It's actually a spiritual mechanism that is active, that is working, that is, that is, that is working at the time when he said the Torah, that it gets into action when you learn the Torah. And the actual message itself, the actual Attainment, the actual asoga that he was massing, you will notice as you get deeper into it that the Torah itself is just like an outer garment, like a marshal to, to asogas which are so rarefied that they, they cannot fit into words. That's the best approximation that you can get to them. And this is what I believe. You're saying yes. this is how I believe. Yes, it's, it, is, it is. So what he's saying here, that's the only way that he could put this kind of, of, of subtle uh, uh, abstractions into words. So there is some, some that you can bring it into this world in, in, in any such way by learning what he is saying, by learning what he's saying, what you do, you are, ha- you, are, you are hardwiring your mind to receive the tzaddik in you. It becomes part of you. The tzaddik himself is way beyond that. The, even the asaga of this is way beyond what we're learning. And once one, there's no two ways about it. We don't understand what the Torah is talking about. We're learning a specific structure. This is this, this is this. The only thing that we can mention about it is that we 
always notice that there is a practical side to the to the highest and most uh, 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 abstract uh, kavanos of our Rizal that he brings down from Etzchayim. This in of the Malchus going out of the Klippas and, 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 and it, it, it surrounds the Etzchayim. So this is Etzchayim. This is Arizal. This is this is kavanos Arizal. This is not you know this is, this is not new. But the fact is that it has to do, it has to do with you doing the mitzvahs b'simcha, and this is what it goes, and the, the mitzvah goes out, this is a, this is a brand new hasaga, which is actually a, a, a down to us explanation of what does a reason mean when he says the machos goes out, okay, so he says the machos goes out, it's like X, Y, you know, the, so you have just a few people that are saying, you know, their minds are, uh, are capable of, of discerning all the, you know all these 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 uh, 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 equations mean, you know. But Tachas, what does it mean Lemaisa? You know, what does it mean for me? Okay, what does it mean? What am I supposed to do with it? And this is another aspect of this particular Torah. But the actual Hasaga is 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 almost beyond words. That's the only words that may be used. It, it makes so much sense because the what was the start from the, the extreme with Sadukim you say that the Torah is literal. It means, it means it means this, it means this and this and that obviously can't be the case. Obvious. And that it's one of the things also when people tell me that they know the Torah says this, the Torah says how can you go in inside of those words? It's uh, this is the 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 walking the 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 journey the 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 habit so to speak of Kelly Malki Bakadesh. It says that 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 uh, it means that the, the the walking of Kelly Malki Bakadesh. What 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 is Actually, the 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 Metudas David says, uh, that that in Tehillim this says, the people of Israel saw your walking, your advancement, Hashem, Kelly Malchi Bakodesh, and he says, it is. Amisra, it's befitting that Amisra, when they saw that you are leading them into the sea with the the column of smoke, you know they should they should they should have followed you. They should follow you the way they did. A Shechem, you know, the one who is the the residence of you know the the Shmei Kodesh. That's the pshat. But over here we are saying This is a remez that when you. When you amala, when you lift up the malchus from the clippers into the kedusha, which is come, which is alluded to in the world malki, which is the malchus bakedish, you bring in it to into the kedush. He malbeshes as alichas eli. It 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 surrounds and it 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 clothes the alichas eli, the walking instrument of keli, of the, the the divine walking instrument, which means netzach vehod. This is the leilech veleoli kol advarim avoides Hashem idvarach. It goes and it wakes up everything to avoid this Hashem. Now, this is the first step, the second step of the ascension. First one, the machus goes out of the clippers. The second one, it surrounds Rezachod Yesod and it starts going, awaken all the oil must have Now we're going vital, we're going, we're going higher. Validea Yisraelus, and that awakening, that excitement that the mitzvah did Bekdusha excited all the oil must, according to that particular walking that awakens all the world to Avedis Hashem. Nimshach bracha lechol ha'olimus. That brings bracha and blessing to all the realms. This corresponds to when the netzachod yisod that are elevated by the the the, the walking, as hem malbishin is a chesed gvurat iferes. They come and dress up the chesed gvurat iferes 
of oil and Asiya, which is above them. In other words, that the inner light of Netzachod Yisod, Netzachod Yisod, goes and becomes a makif, a surrounder, to the outer light of the spheres of Chesed Gvurah Tiferes. What now? Netzachod Yisod, these are, you know, the lower extremities. The Chesed Gvurah Tiferes, this is the Yadayim, this is the, these are the, you know, the upper extremities and the torso. Shemisham, kol brachas. from the hands come the bracha. Because chesed, as we know, corresponds to the right hand, and gvura corresponds to the left hand, and the tiferes is the two hands together. You know, the working of the two hands together, and together they, they bestow the bracha to all the oil of us. And this is what Yaakov said to Lavan. V'yivarech Hashem ha'ischol l'ragli, Hashem blessed you to my legs. Basically, I'll peep shot what he says, he says, because of me. L'ragli, you know, I was the cause for that. But what it actually means to say that Yaakov was zorichet to do the mitzvahs with such simcha, to awaken all the oil of Mestav Yedis Hashem Yisbarach, that even love him got a bracha. Even love him got a bracha. And this, this is, this is Leragli, that the bracha is being brought down because of the Leraglai, because the Netzachot Yisod, Yisod went, you know, with, you know, surrounded with the Malchus, awakened all the oil of to Avedis Hashem. So, Nimtza Sha'oil Maraglin. Now, you find out that the, the, the legs, the, 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 the walking elements, which is Netzachot Yisod, they connect they connect with that aspect of hands, which are the, 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 the elements, the elements that bestow, the elements that give. Whenever we are talking about, you know, the, 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 this special word, which I'm sure that you know, I don't know what the word is, you know, when I you're using... My English, by the way. <laughs> which, which is the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 uh, uh, when you when you uh, when you uh, assign human attributes to to uh, usually you do it you know with, with cartoons you do it to animals but it, it, it humanize uh, I'm not I'm sorry I forgot I can forget I'm just talking to them I'm sorry so it, it's it's basically. The human body, as we said, is, uh, is a simon and a symbol to very, very deep spiritual mysteries. Okay? So when we say, Eine Hashem, the eyes of Hashem, what do we mean the eyes of Hashem? Hashem is totally spiritual. Was it? So he says, that particular aspect, that particular aspect, that, that watches over people in a, on a personal level, this is called Prinas Einayim. This is the this is this is this is the Anayim. And 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 that particular aspect, you know, Kiviochal that, that that bestows Bracha is called Yadayim. And so forth and so on. We will continue Mir Sashem tomorrow. And is the word you're looking for anthropomorphic?